Hey everyone, this is Tom Hall from the Blue Root team, here to show you a little bit about Zoho Click. What we'll focus on in this video is just getting started and the basics for you to actually begin using the application for your organization. So I'm currently in the Zoho Remotely suite of products, and you can see that one of them that they offer is Zoho Click. So just by clicking on it, it'll take us into the Zoho Click interface. So this is probably what you'll see, and this is actually your home page. The system will walk you through a series of steps. I'll let you do that on your own time. It's fairly straightforward. What I'll actually do instead during this time is, is show you the different aspects of things that you can actually do within this. So over here is kind of your main dashboard and what you're gonna to wanna to use. And actually what I'm gonna do is start from the bottom and, and work my way up. And uh, hopefully that'll be clear <laughs> once I complete the explanation. So <clears throat> real quick, what is Zoho Click before I get into it? It's an internal messaging app and basically it allows you to communicate internally very quickly in a collaborative way, key messages um, across your organization. It allows you to create groups so that you're messaging specific groups about um, topics that are relevant to them. So a common one, you might wanna make a finance group and everyone in the finance organization will be part of it and finance related topics will be used in that channel. Lots of things could be an overall organization. Everyone in your organization is in that group and all company-wide communications will be broadcast within that group. So hopefully that becomes a bit more clear as I walk through things. But like I said before, this is your main navigation pane and we'll start here. I'm currently in home, but I'll start from the bottom up. So as you can see here, these three things are actually, they're very related, a channel, a contact, and a bot. And the reason that they're related is that they're the underlying thing on all things Zoho Click. So let's start with a bot. We'll click here. And right out of the box, you're gonna have a bot that's called TAS, so I can click on it. And what TAS is, is exactly what he tells you here. So he'll give you uh, a place, an explanation of what he does, but in the most basic sense, he's something that's just a computer, and it's a place where, as it mentions, you can scribble down some notes, ask questions, do that sort of thing, um, and, and store them within TAS. So TAS is gonna help you with that. And as you build in your suite of applications, if you start using, let's say CRM, for example, TAS will be reminding you of certain events uh, within your CRM, as an example. You can add new bots here just by clicking plus. You can search bots. It looks like there's none currently here. You could create your own bot, but that's a bit more advanced. So I'd say stick to TAS for now. So bots aren't used a ton, but it's something useful to understand. Contacts, this is kind of the most basic thing here. Um, a contact is someone who you might want to interact with. Uh, so a contact, <coughs> it could be other people in your organization, but also you could add people outside of your organization as long as they're also using Zoho Click. So Richard Williams here, he's someone in my organization, so I could click onto him and I could ping him and say hello as an example. So it, you can hopefully start seeing the messaging capabilities of this application, um, just from what I showed you here. Messaging Richard very quickly and him responding and being able to have that conversation. So that's context. And now the last thing here is a channel. So what is a channel? So a channel is basically what I was describing earlier. It's a group of people. It's a place where you can put uh, relevant information or um, group things in a smart way. So, <clears throat> If I click channel, I wanna create a brand new channel. So this might be something, when I say new channel, it's a new topic or it's a new group of people that I wanna group. So let's just call this new channel. And I have to choose if it's an organization, a personal or it's an external type of channel. So if it's an organization, it means that any, as it suggests here, anyone can find and join it, um, but you can limit the visibility so that only people who are invited can actually see it. 
That's what an organizational type channel is. So this would be what I was mentioning earlier, maybe those that company wide channel that you have, um, you want everyone to be able to find it. A personal one, similar to the organization, except you can actually only join by invite. So this might be that finance one. So people in finance don't want people from marketing joining their channel. And so then you're gonna use a personal one. And then the last one I was referring to this earlier, but an external channel, since I can add contacts from different organizations, I can of course make channels um, with people across these organizations. So if it is that case, I'll use an external one and I can invite people from any organization to join. So this one, why don't I just do a personal one and then you can choose who I want to actually be in it. And Richard's not coming up right now. But in any case, once he were, Richard were to register, you'd be able to find him right here, add him in there. And then the last thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is in the new channel say this, describe why it's here. So this is a channel for anyone interested in, you know, blank, whatever. And then I can create this channel. And so just like that, <clears throat> I've created this channel. I can add people if I need to just like this, add the plus, and I can begin interacting with those people on this very specific um, type of communication. So, hello, and I can, I can start messaging people that way. So, I've talked about a bot, I've talked about channels, and I've contacts, and I've talked about channels. So now, let's, let's look at conversations. And conversation is basically a buildup of all those things. It's, it's nothing to, um, complicated in that sense. It just takes all your bots, your channels, your contacts, and basically sorts them by the most recent one. What's one cool thing that you can do with this is your favorite one. So maybe this new channel I'm using a lot, I can choose to pin it, and now it's going to appear in my pin and it's, and it's always going to be there. So hopefully that makes sense. Firework from the bottom to the top. Um, you know, you got to understand conversations, no pins, and you have to understand channels, contacts, and bots no conversations. So the last thing I want to show you um, before I sign off is what are the different things you can do very quickly within here. So I showed you how you can message and you say, how's it going? You can do whatever you'd like. You can start tagging people as you can see. Um, if I do the at sign, <clears throat> I can say all, notif all participants or everyone who's available or I could just tag Taz as an example. But you can start tagging people. So that's one kind of cool feature and just saying at all. Other things that you can do is you can add participants as I showed you before. But you can also start doing this, which is a group call, which is a newer feature, but I think is very cool. And so by hovering over this, it's going to show you prime time or conference. I recommend conference. And what's going to show up is this, right? So you can create a conference. It asks you, hey, how do you want it to look? What's the topic? And then just by hitting next, it allows you to invite those people in the channel and you can have a video or audio conference right away, right from click. So finance, there's a finance emergency. You need to get on the, the horn right away. You can come into click, find the channel and start this conference. The last one here is um, just how you want to get notified. So if you know something's overwhelming you and you just wanted to, um, no longer ping you, you can choose a delay for a certain number of hours. And then very easily I can choose to get rid of these. It pops me back into home or maybe I want to message Richard, I can click it and I can message him again. How's it going? So that's the very quick overview of Zoho Click. I hope that was clear to you. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments area and I'd be happy to answer them. Thanks.